a green urban treehouse of sorts, the Venti Cinque Verdi apartment building in an ordinary residential area of Turin. 115 pots containing different kinds of trees are scattered over all five stories. It's architect Luciano Pia's vision of ecological architecture. We try to keep the materials as natural as possible, materials that are mostly untreated so they age and change with the passage of time, such as natural larch wood and the steel that rusts and gradually changes its appearance. Combined with the green and the trees, it has an attractive coherence. Another example of green architecture can be found in Milan. Two high-rise buildings called the Bosco Verticale, or Vertical Forest, by the architect Stefano Boeri. They won the 2014 International High-Rise Award. In Paris, landscape artist Patrick Blanc has been designing vertical gardens for buildings' facades for over 10 years. His living walls also inhabit the Quai Branly Museum, designed by Jean Nouvel. But it takes more than green facades to make truly green, sustainable architecture. From the holistic point of view, sustainable building goes much farther than green building. It includes social and cultural aspects and the whole gamut of economic issues and efficient construction, environment and the quality management systems. So it's not just about purely ecological questions. Venti Cinque Verdi's courtyard encompasses a little forest of some 50 trees. They enrich the air with oxygen and keep it cool in summer with their shade. In winter, after they drop their leaves, they let sunlight through to the apartments below. I conceive the building to consume less energy. It's very well insulated and protected from the sun during the summer. The windows are very big, so they let a great deal of light in, and that lets people save electricity as well. We collect all the rainwater for the plants. Plus, we use energy-saving geothermal energy for heating and cooking. Alexander Rodolfi from the German Sustainable Building Council appreciates the Venti Cinque Verde project, but he doesn't believe we'll all be living in buildings like this in 30 years' time. I think problems of an economic nature will develop. I think the building is very maintenance intensive. We'll have to come up with other solutions to provide high quality living space at affordable rents. But as a pilot project, a one-off, it does an outstanding job. But I don't think we should take it as our model for architecture of the future. But the residents enjoy living among the trees and greenery. Each of the 63 apartments has a floor plan of its own. Welcome to my house. Uh, one of the main reasons for which I bought this house is, is this uh, window you can see here. When you see this, uh, this windows open, you can feel outside and inside the apartment be in the same place. The simplest where to live, where to share your time with your family and friends. I love this house because I feel myself uh, inside a little environment, but at the same time at the, at the center of the, of the city of Turin, and I feel myself inside the, the nature. Luciano Pia is already involved in other projects, a hotel for the renowned Juventus Turin soccer club. It will also sport plenty of green, but it won't be as luxurious as the Venti Cinque Verde. Venti Cinque Verde is a project that's meant to be provocative. All the green in and around the building and the steel structures imitating nature are meant to get people ready for a far more extensive inclusion of greenery in buildings to come. The Venti Cinque Verdi residential complex is a unique piece of architecture and an inspiration for future projects. It's already a must-see for architecture fans and students from all over.